Today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles quarter scale arcade cabinet from Numskull. I cannot tell you just how excited I am that this is finally here. As soon as they announced that they were making Turtles as well as the sequel machine, Turtles in Time, I was absolutely ecstatic. I'm a massive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. You already know that if you've been following this channel for any certain period of time. I've got a full size original 1989 Konami Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade cabinet that I have in my garage that I play all the time. I love that we're getting authentic replications of some of these classic beat em up games, namely Ninja Turtles. Uh, we got the beautiful, gorgeous, you know, April O'Neil with her classic 1989 hair. Super poofy, super tall, super, you know, filled with Aquanet. Artwork looks great. Uh, one key detail I've noticed, uh, it doesn't look like April has her wedding ring on this box art here, but uh, we'll let that slide. Maybe uh, maybe she's going through some rough patch. But like I said, they also have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time arcade cabinet as well. Um, there's lots of different variations out there. You can get either one of these machines autographed by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles co-creator himself, Kevin Eastman, which is really cool. Uh, you can get some that come with little arcade stools, come with little coins. Inside the packaging, you will find a nice little QR code to join the official fan club on Facebook. Your instruction manual, this will tell you how to access the dip switch settings, as well as, you know, the little key features of the machine. Uh, basically, dip switch settings, all you're gonna have to do is before you power on the machine, you're gonna hold the player one and player two attack buttons, hold those down, turn on the machine, and you'll get to the dip switch settings. You can change all sorts of things like infinite lives, invincibility, one hit kill bosses. You can turn on and off the CRT effect filter. Very nice, cool details. And we also have a very lengthy USB-C uh, charging cable because we are now using USB-C on these new devices. And the last thing you will find in the box is these four little stickers. You got a yellow, blue, purple, red, all for the corresponding turtles themselves. And you're asking yourself, where do those go? Well, here on this gorgeous machine, they actually go down here on the coin. So you put them under each one of these so you got one, two, player three and four, and that's where they go, just like the original arcade machine had. And, you know, I love that they included that. Nice little detail. Has the exact silhouette as it should. The nice Konami side artwork and everything looks great. Um, one, you know, one of the few changes, obviously, Nickelodeon now owns the franchise Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So you will see a Nickelodeon logo up here on the marquee, as well as some Nickelodeon branding uh, along the artwork. Here you got Viacom Overseas Holdings, CV, all rights reserved. That obviously wasn't there on the original arcade cabinet. And again, looking at the artwork, uh, doesn't look like April O'Neil has her wedding ring. Like I said, that, it's not an actual part of Turtles lore, but for whatever reason, uh, the model that they used on the marquee and as well as the side art she was wearing a wedding ring while they were doing the photo shoot and that's something that was present on the original arcade artwork that is not present on here but besides the nickelodeon branding besides the little you know copyright viacom stuff down there um, the artwork is very true to form looks great let's go ahead and get these plastic protectors off here so we got a nice little protective film some other specific details about this machine compared to the original machine. So they even included the hinge right here that would allow the original machine control panel to flip up. That way you can service inside. Uh, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade machine had Wico leaf joysticks inside. Uh, these are just, you know, your standard uh, little micro switch joystick, which is understandable. You know, they had to shrink everything down. So I completely uh, understand that. You got little micro switch buttons. Everything feels nice and uh, operates well there. Uh, you got functional coin buttons down here, so they are illuminated. You press those, you'll essentially be putting in a quarter into the machine each and every time. Uh, if you've never played one of these machines, if you want to play a specific turtle, you are absolutely locked into that position. So if you want to be Raphael, you have to play Raphael's joystick and button combination. You can't be over here at Leonardo's and then select Raphael. So keep that in mind. And the same kind of goes with their USB add-on. So down here at the hub, which is really cool, open it up push button. I love that they did that. I don't have to like fingernail at it and try to open up this coin door, but what they've done, they've added four USB ports down here. That way you can plug in a USB controller and essentially you don't have to use the joystick and buttons on the control deck anymore. You can use a USB controller. In fact, Numskull went out and produced their own, uh, has a, you know, very akin aesthetic to a NES, uh, control pad. It even has a nice little, uh, arcade joystick thumb thing here. So you can control it like that. Uh, you can actually unscrew this 
take it off completely. That way you just have a normal standard D-pad, but all you have to do is plug it in a USB port. It works just like normal. Your credit button, start button, your jump, your punch. Very nice feature that they did, did that. And if you don't want to buy one of these, don't worry. You can plug in pretty much any USB controller uh, that your hearts desire. I've got five around my house. I've plugged in all five of the USB controllers to test them and every single one of them worked exactly how I expect. So you aren't locked down to this, but as far as just having a cool accessory, this is not a bad controller by any means. But keep in mind, if I plug this in to control a turtle, I'm only gonna be able to control the first player. It doesn't matter which port on these USB ports here, I plug this controller in. If I'm only playing one player, I can plug this into any one of the four ports. It's still only gonna control Leonardo. So if I wanna use a joypad, a USB joystick, to control a different turtle, I'm going to have to plug in multiple USB controllers to access that. So again, what I'm trying to say is essentially, if you wanna play Raphael with a USB controller, you're gonna to have to plug in four USB controllers just to be able to have control of them, which is um, a little bit annoying and you know it may irk a couple of people, but in reality, I just love the fact that we have that USB functionality as a whole, and that way you're not you know, isolated to only playing with the joystick and the buttons on the control deck because adult size hands obviously it's fine with one person but if you're trying to get multiple people you definitely want to have some usb controllers plugged in for sure screen looks great we got a six inch four three aspect ratio uh, screen we even have the single speaker up here which is a key detail that the original turtles machine had around the back side of the machine we have our volume wheel we have our battery light indicator our usb c charging port as well as our toggle switch for the power which is now uh, one that holds the switch position. So just like Space Invaders, this is a new power switch and I, for one, am a big fan of it. Another great thing about this machine is they have the original music, the licensed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song. Uh, companies like Arcade 1UP, when they released their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cabinet, kind of cheaped out and did not use the original music. Here, Numbskull used the original music, which is fantastic. Overall, I mean, they, they absolutely did an amazing job with recreating this machine. There are some subtle differences here there. Like I said, April's missing her wedding ring, Nickelodeon logos, you know, that type of thing is understandable because of licensing issues, but the gameplay is great. You got all sorts of cool dip switch settings. It looks the part, it plays the part. We even got, you know, the little stickers on the coin door, which is phenomenal. I think Numskull did an absolutely amazing job. And of course I now need to get the Turtles in Time to complete the set. Because I gotta have both of them. Like I said, huge Ninja Turtles fan myself. Uh, if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll put a product link down in the video description box below. But that does it for this video review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles quarter scale arcade cabinet from Numskull Designs. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.